That's that time of year once again. Yes, the Hyundai A-Link is back. The homophobic banners, the casual racism, the quality workmanship of their fences, it's all here. And I, for one, can't wait to see how many animals our A-Link players can hurt this season. Let's kick things off with my fair and balanced season preview that will definitely not be racist. Newcastle Jets. Newcastle Jets haven't been good since Bindi Irwin had a dad, and I don't see how Mario Chabot is going to change all that. They're giving away free tickets to their first home game because Newcastle games are as in demand as Frank Ribéry's Orthodontus. This time in the hot seat is the man of a thousand emotions, Ernie Merrick. Will he be the man to finally turn Newcastle's fortunes around? No. Adelaide. After last season's gap year from competitive football, They've seemingly gotten their act together, and like a Freddie Mercury blood test, I haven't really got anything negative to say. The recruiting's been solid so far, but like every Fox Sports presenter, they're a little thin up top. Phoenix. Well, if you enjoy repeated blows to the head with a ballpoint hammer, then you might enjoy watching Wellington Phoenix play this season. Recruitment-wise, they've gone pretty... <sighs> Bloody Balkan. It seems their pre-game talk will be about Shavatki and what the true definition of Greater Serbia is. To be completely honest, the only way these idiots are making the top six, or the top sex as they call it, is if four teams folded. And even then I'd feel they find a way to fuck it up. Brisbane Raw. Brisbane Raw have been living under the mentality of out with the old and in with the significantly older. Everything about this club is a fucking train wreck. Their jerseys look like they're on some under 12s Kovo sports shit. Russ Aloisi is too busy punching cunts in the Hungry Jack's car park. They got rid of Thomas Broich and opted for Jacob Pepper, which is as logical as getting rid of Thomas Broich and opting for Jacob Pepper. With that alone, anything above 10th is an honor too undeserving for them. It's been really hard for me being a Perth Glory fan lately. Oh wait, I'm not a Perth Glory fan because I'm not 60 years old, British balding and overweight. Perth Glory have a pretty good squad, but Kenny Lowe keeps forgetting that and plays Mark Warren a lot. But like all things Perth, their success hinges on whether they can figure out how to travel to a new time zone without mutating into bumbling buffoons. Until then, we'll just have to get reacquainted with the Fox Sports team, throwing roses at the feet of Castro every time he merely looks at a ball. Sydney FC. It's kind of annoying that Graham Arnold is probably going to win something this year because he's just a fucking dickhead. He talks like Don King if he was a chemtrail conspiracy theorist and looks like a mixture of Pepe the Frog and Grumpy Cat if they were both run over repeatedly by an SUV. Despite losing three key players, it won't ultimately matter because Ninkovic is on such a god tier level that he could lift the Weverell Park over 45's Division 5 side to the A-League title. Uh, Central Coast Mariners. If Sydney FC are the arsenal of the A-League, then the Central Coast Mariners are the Central Coast Mariners of the A-League. Oki may have got a lot wrong last season, but at least I don't know what his fucking nips look like. Things look a lot brighter for the Mariners this season since they started signing footballers instead of parodies of footballers. But mate, I'm going double or nothing this season. I'll shove two salamanders up my dick hole. That's right, two salamanders. Hell, I'll shove a full grown Komodo dragon up my dick hole if they make the top six. That's how confident I am because no matter how well you've recruited, you're still coached by Paul Ocon. Wanderers. One week ago, Wanderers were looking like genuine title favourites, ready to bask in the glory that would be awaiting them, as silverware seemed their only destiny. Now they have Hayden Fox. May as well start planning for the 2018-19 season. City. City will be happy with their recruitment, but they won't be happy that they're coached by a real-life Mike Bassett. Optimism is also darkened, with Bruno being on the long-term injury list. He's been replaced with a guy with an attitude problem. And what better place to get someone to take things seriously again than the Hyundai A-League, where you're up against teams that sound like Care Bear magic spells, playing in 40-degree heat in a stadium that has more seagulls than fans. 
Uh, I'm forgetting someone. Uh, Melbourne Victory. Uh, oh, no one's watching anymore. Who cares?